Hi guys, this is Lee Jugood. I'm here to talk about my Star Trails image uh, taken at North Head in Manly, Sydney, Australia. This is the, the post-production part of the tutorial. I'll just show you quickly how I process this image. Um, it's not 100% perfect. I'll probably go back and reprocess it at some stage, but uh, it's good enough for now. So let's just have a look. Here's the, the final image. I'll just go back to some of the originals. Here's the base layer I've taken from the RAW editor in, in Photoshop. This is uh, the 30 minute exposure taken for the stars. As you can see there are also uh, plane trails going throughout the image and some other light pollution from, from other light painters who were there at the time. But anyway, this is a, a good place to start and uh, we'll, we'll fix some of this up as we progress through the image. So the first thing I did was to actually do a second copy of this bottom layer and do some noise reduction. As you can see it's, it's got a bit of noise in there. So let's just put this layer on and you can see it's been reduced a bit. I'll uh, probably go back and, and further refine this because there are some issues around the edge of the bunker where there's a slight glow because of the noise reduction. You can see it's uh, a nice clean edge here but as I've reduced the noise it's, it's given a bit of a brown murky edge to it so it's good enough for a quick job and for posting on the web so I haven't bothered about it if I if I go back and print it I'll, I'll fix it up okay so the next uh, next thing I did was a, a curves layer I did a, an auto curves as you can see there's there's not much adjustment there but what I did do is an S curve to give the image a bit more contrast so this is all just work on the sky just now. I'll add in the foreground de detail later. So I'm just trying to get those stars a bit more punchy. Again here I've I've just added a curves to make it a bit bit brighter, bring out those stars a bit. As I come up through the image, I'm starting to work on some of the other aspects such as the here the the left foreground. So as you've seen from the original image, this is one where I I lit with a bare flash uh Canon speedlight. So all I've done is just brought that part of the image in. Let's just, I'll just show you the layer mask here. Nothing too interesting, just painted that in. And then I've I've brought in the light trail. I've, I've done two, two attempts here, one with the glow uh, and one without. So just to see which I've preferred. The only difference is really in my layer mask here. I've uh, made one quite accurate and uh, and one less accurate. So I've just brought some of that that glow that was uh, naturally in the image, uh, brought it through a bit just to to see how it sits. I've decided I like that, so uh, I've kept that in. The next layer I, I use part of the image to cover up this this uh, light um, from the other light painters on the right hand side, and I also used the glow from inside the building. So as you can see, I uh, I got rid of most of that out of the sky and out of the foreground. Um, the light doesn't look quite right, so what I've done next is uh, I've just desaturated that. And that ties it a bit more in with the the flash uh, flash light, the color temperature. Next uh, was the the red window frame. I'll just show you the layer mask there. So all I've done is. I've brought allowed this layer to to show through, and then I've I've obviously taken out where the 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 trail of light is, so I don't interfere with that. So now to uh, to bring some some detail out on the right hand side. Uh, uh, sorry, in fact, this this frame is for uh, the right hand side. But what I've done is I've just taken I've actually done it in two steps here, just so I can do a bit of work on this on this uh on the actual bunker. So I've done this is uh these two are actually duplicate layers but um they've both got different layer masks. So this this initial one was just for the, the bunker. So I've brought in some of that that uh cooler light from the speed light. And then uh I'll just show you the layer mask there. It's uh, not hundred percent accurate. I've I've just got the uh magic wand and, and selected it. So I, I felt it's a bit bright, doesn't sit in the image quite right, so I've done a curves adjustment to give it a bit more contrast. And I've also just um, 
Uh, I've done the same again to the overall image. This one is just a clipping mask, so it's only affecting this layer mask. And this one's an overall contrast. So just pulling pulling down the shadows a bit and uh, increasing the highlights. So we're, we're getting there anyway. Um, I Next I, I've brought that, that image again. I've just duplicated it onto this layer. And I've, I've decided it's too dark in the, the bottom right. So I've just brought in some detail. As you can see with the layer mask there, it's just for this area. And then uh, I've given that a bit more punch, a bit more contrast with another curves layer. There's quite a lot of colour in the sky, so uh, what I've done is, is just add a, a saturation layer and just masked out the sky. So as you can see I've excluded the bunker, excluded the foreground, now I'm just working on the sky. So bringing that in just desaturates it, but makes it look look a bit more natural. And then I've I've added a curves layer there that obviously has no purpose. Let's just delete that. I've added a bit more contrast. This is a, a clipping another clipping mask. So I've added contrast into the sky there. So it, this clipping mask is only affecting this this layer here and this mask. So and then what I've done is just to to sort of pull your eye into the image I've just darkened that bottom so that just uh, focuses the eye into the middle of the image next I've uh, I've combined all the layers and I've just given it a clean up as you can see there's a, a few lights here that I want to get rid of a sort of light patch here so I've just gone in and with the the clone tool I've just put some black areas to clean that up when I did the light painting, there was actually, um, in retrospect, I probably should have lit this this door here, this uh, nice rusty door, just to just just to, because it was quite interesting. I, th I think it's an interesting part of the frame. So what I've done here is uh, just brought a curves layer in, just lightened up that door. So I, I've really given it a good good shove here. So that just uh, brings that that door out and makes it makes it part of the image. So final layer, I, I kind of felt this was too dark. I've, uh, I've posted this twice um, and this is the second attempt. All I did is uh, just add another layer and just brighten it up a bit just to uh, to bring it out. I, th I think it was just too dark. Uh, as I said, I'll probably go back and reprocess this and maybe get the noise reduction correct and do the layer masks a bit more accurate. But uh, overall, I, I think it's worked well. I uh, hope you've learned something. Thanks for tuning in.